We've been listening to lies. That's why he said in Isaiah chapter 38 that black people are liars. We believe all this bullshit. in God's sight. Right. Read on. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. That's why we're going all over to tell the world that God's chosen people are rising up. That's, Read on. That's right. For a witness unto all nations. Unto who? To all nations. This is for everybody. Y'all got to understand that the king of kings is coming. That's, that's right. right. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall right. confess. That's right. That's right. Read again. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the, all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You are witnessing the end of the world. That's right. The end of the world is coming. Right. So that's why you see terrorism. That's why you see abortion. That's why you see crime. That's why you see a, a, a white man with orange hair running for president. You see an a, a Indian woman changing from being from one nationality to another. Right. Right. And right. black women who don't know no better got all their money together to fund her campaigns. Right. This is what the end of the world looks like. Right. Right. Read up. When, the, when ye therefore shall see the abominations of desolation. That's when our places of worship was desecrated. That's what your churches are now. Your churches are an abomination of desolation. Anything goes inside your places of worship. So Christ was telling them that the churches were going to be destroyed. It was going to be overrun. That's why you got so much different religious beliefs, so many different denominations, so many different false pastors and preachers and ministers and evangelists going throughout the world to make our churches abominable, our places of learning abominable. Spoken of by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place. Hold on. Hey, come here, come ask your question. Come ask your question. You want to engage He said the new, yeah, go ahead. What's your question, bro? Oh, no, he asked me, what do I, like, my feelings on the Bible? And to me, I believe it's made up just because it's one of the newest religions. So for well, me, it's like... Well, new. Let's not new. Look, look, look. From the time of Christ to now is where we get 2024. Did you know that? The Christ, the Christ that we know of in the Bible, the calendar was built on. Right. Where do we get 22,000 years of history from him? How do we measure the time before we call it BC, before Christ? Yeah. So it's not new. It's been you the way it's been presented to us. Like, what nationality are you? I'm black. Okay, in the Bible, you will be considered the tribe of Judah. That was the top tribe in the Bible. That's what they call the Jews. But in the 14th century, when the Roman Catholic Church rose up, they gave us a new image of Jesus Christ. That's new. This came in the 14th century by Rodrigo Borgia, Pope Louis after the Sixth of Rome. You can look it up. And then after they created this image of this false image of Jesus Christ, they circulated it throughout the world and they enslaved black people. You ever think why did black people go on cargo slave ships? They were put in chains, they were brought here. We worked for hundreds of years of free labor. Then they abolished slavery in 1868. Then a hundred years later, Martin Luther King was trying to fight for civil rights. What they did was kill them. So it's always been oppression against us, and it starts with Jesus. That's why Jesus Christ is called the Savior. That's right. The Bible is not new. That's All right. the other religions are new. Bring it out. Think of another religion before the Bible that is circulating throughout the earth the way the Bible is. Okay, they told us that. Like me, I believe the same thing as you. I used to say, I'm not reading that book. It's the white man's book. It's bullshit. But then when you read in the Bible the depiction of Christ, watch this. Revelations 1 verse 14. 13. This is where they, they, they describe Christ. Look at Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one unlike unto the Son of Man. There was a guy named John the Revelator, and he saw a vision of Christ, the Messiah. So he says, this guy looks like the Son of Man. Read on. 
clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a long garment all the way down to his feet. Read off. And girded about a pep with a golden dirt. He had a belt around his waist. Read off. His head and his hands were white like wool. Like your hair. Woolly hair. He had an afro. Read off. As white as snow. And his eyes were the flame of fire. He had red eyes. Like you see in this picture here. His eyes are red. Read off. And his feet. Like unto fine bread. That's the color of your hands. Your hands are like fine glass. Read on. As if they burn in the furnace. Because he was very dark skinned. So where do we get this white image from? From right. the, the Roman Catholic Church made this up to deceive us. Right. To oppress us. Right. To keep right. us down. That's right. So we think white is right and black is wrong. That's right. And those people are strong. Okay, so we're out here with the Bible. People see us out here with the Bible. Because... In the beginning of the Bible, God drowned everybody with a flood. You ever heard that story? He said he's going to judge the earth again. He said the next time by fire. He said there's going to be fighting, there's going to be wars, there's going to be crime, there's going to be violence, there's going to be murder, which is what we live in now. That's right. right. So God says before the destruction comes in Zephaniah chapter 2, this is what God says. Do you believe that? Good. This is what God says. Zephaniah chapter 2. Bring it out. 2 verse 1. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out! Gathering yourselves together. So that's what we're doing here. We're trying to gather our people together. That's you are not black, you're not Negro, you're not colored, you're not a minority. That's right. You are an Israelite. That's, that's right. 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 That's nationality. That's right. White people told us we were black. Right. White that's people right. called us Negro. Right. Negrito. That's okay, right. they put those because you have Spanish speaking white people called the conquistador. Right. When they enslaved us, they changed us and renamed us. That's right. So now we fight against each other because we're lost, we're destroyed, right. we're ignorant. A hundred years ago, we couldn't read and write. That's right. They call us illiterate. Right. Okay, so now we can read, now we can write. Now we're looking at the Bible through God's eyes and not white people. That's right. You know what? Right. Yeah. Gather, your, gather together, oh nation not desired. We are a nation not desired. We the last hired, first fired, police brutality, Drugs, crime, abortion, broken households. Why? Because we didn't follow the instructions of that's God. That's right. I keep asking people, what is in this book that's bad for us as a people? Bring it out. I don't know, father and thy mother, love thy neighbor, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. Those are good things. Right. But right. we don't follow them. We go to church on Sunday, you pay the pastor lies, tithes, and he tells you lies. Bring it out! What's going on in the church? Nothing. It just makes you feel good for a while. That's right. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. This is what God said about the church. Bring it out! What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they... I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class yet. I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Bring it out. Okay, because I used to feel just like you. I used to say, yo, this Bible is trash. I don't believe in it. I'm not following it. It's garbage. But this is what God said to put for us in the future. Because Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Bring it out. Now go. Write it before them in a tablet and know it in a book. This is the book God said to write it for the future. That's right. That it may before the time to come. There was going to be a message for you in a time to come. Read on. Forever and ever. This book ain't going nowhere. This right. book is forever and ever. That's right. right. That this is a rebellious people. Our people are rebellious, bro. I'm, I live in New York. From New York to Connecticut, it's the same thing. That's right. banging, drug dealing, hustling. Somebody sees you, they want to fight you, they right. convince you. They're trying to take your girl, they're trying to take your chain, they're trying to take your sneakers. That's right. That's rebellion against God's commandments to love each other. Yeah. You, my brother, when I see you, I should be able to give you a pound and tell you, yo, what's going on? That's right. Now look at you like you the ox, or right. you an agent, or you don't belong here because right. you ain't from my hood. You can't. This is... That this is a rebellious people. We rebel against the word of God because it's been taught to us wrong. So we're out here to teach the Bible right so that we can unite, we can come back as a nation, so we can come back strong. Once, if everybody was following the Bible, 
Life will be beautiful for him. That's right. For everybody has hatred in their heart, evil in their heart, anger in their heart, disrespect in their heart. What other race of people make songs about guns and who they kill? Only us, bro. You gotta ask yourself, where do we get that shit from? Where do we decide that we wanna do songs and make money about robbing you, taking your girl, beating you up, my crew against your crew, drill music, kill music. That's evil, bro. Our people are evil. So that's why God says, what? We did it again? That this is a rebellious people. We rebel against the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Read on. Lying children. And that we lie. We lie about everything. These rappers, they liars. These singers, they liars. The politicians, they liars. Okay, the people who control the world from the top down, they liars. Look at P. Diddy, all the money he got. He's a billionaire, what he's doing? Trucking women, feeding people out. He can have any girl he wants. But we, we dance to his music, can't stop, won't stop. Right. And he won't stop trucking women, raping women, right. beating people up, right. messing with men, messing with women, right. giving bad record deals. Right. No, he's falling before the whole world. Everybody's right. watching him go right. down. Right. Because God said, enough. Read it again. That this is a rebellious people. We rebel against the laws of God so that we can have happy homes, happy neighborhoods, safe, no drugs, no crime, no cops. Read up. Lying children. And then we lie about the conditions that exist. The reality is you can die at any time. I can get it at any time. Who is going to be from? Another black man that's ungodly, that hates God. Read up. Children that will not hear the laws of the Lord. Just look around. We are here with a Bible. People giving us the finger. They screaming at us. They don't want to hear the word of God. Right. Everybody's too busy. So something pops off that everybody's in church. Please, God, please. Or if somebody gets sick or somebody dies, that's not the time to talk to God. We right. talk to God and make a relationship with him before things that's go right. wrong. That's right. That's right. That this is a rebellious people. We rebel against the word of God. Lying children. We lie on God. Children that will not hear the laws of the Lord. And look around you. Everybody's going about their business. Nobody don't want to say, Yo, let's see what these guys are talking about. Getting holes, clothes, jewel, ice, watch, car. Every black person would have stopped. That's Let's see right. what we're talking about. Right. Read on. Right. Which says to the seer. See not. The seers are people that look into the Bible and bring things out. Read on. And to the prophet, prophesy not unto us right things. They don't want to hear the right things. They want to go to church on Sunday, listen to lies, and pay tithes. Read on. Speak unto us smooth things. They don't want us to yell. They want us to talk smooth. Okay, they want us to talk nice. Jesus loves you, my child. God loves you. Come into my church and sit down. It's all bullshit to take money out your pockets. We're not going to speak smooth out here. We're going to speak what God says. That's right. Prophesy deceit. They want to hear deceit. So in the churches on Sunday, they tell you lies about a white guy that's not in the Bible. I challenge anybody to show me where this white guy that they told us in slavery is a man of God. That's this is what Christ looked like. Right. That's why he's called the Savior. That's because right. these conditions cannot continue forever. Right. We're in crime, we're in poverty, we got bad housing. You go for a job, the first thing they look at you is, ah, oh, look at this guy. He don't fit the profile we're looking for. They won't hire you. You could go, you could get education, you could do everything, you could do everything by the books. Go to college, there's still somebody that as soon as you say your name, they're not gonna give you the jobs. Is that fair? So that's what Christ is for. Christ is here to even the playing field. Now, people see us out here, they're like, yo, why are y'all out here? Because we know according to the Bible, this earth is going to be destroyed. You know, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Destruction is coming to this earth. Y'all think it's all good? That's what y'all thought before COVID came. Remember, before COVID, nobody was walking around with a mask. Nobody was social distancing. But when that COVID shit hit, y'all was shook. Right. Everybody had a mask. Nobody wanted to leave their house. All the stores were closed. Y'all didn't expect that. The Bible told us that that was coming. Read it. Book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. God is watching the sin that we're doing. Read on. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. The same way he sent the flood in the beginning of the Bible, he said he's going to let destruction come again. Everything looks good now, 
But a war is coming, a nuclear war is coming. Right. Billions of people are going to die. Right. That's what the Bible said. Because they're not right. telling you that in church. Right. They're not showing that on TV. Right. Read on. Saving that. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. He said, there's one house of people I'm going to save. That's your people, bro. Yes, you are right, a part of the house of Jacob. You are a part of the Israelites. You are an Israelite. Right. When they brought us here as slaves, they told us we niggas, we Negro, we black, we colored, we're minority. Okay? That's, those are titles that were put on us when we were brought here. That's right. But when you read the Bible, through God's eyes and not man's lies, that's how we rise. Right. We got to come back to God. We got to understand we have a nationality here. We have a heritage here. We have something that was not taught to us to think. Where do we learn the Bible? In slavery. When they took us as slaves, on Sunday they said, okay, you niggas, you don't got to work. We're going to teach you about a white guy with blonde hair named Jesus. That's where we learned this. Right. This was not common knowledge. They taught us these are the people that made all the religions. Baptist by John Smith. Bring it out. Mormon, Joseph Fifth. Bring it out. J. White, Seven Day Adventist. Charles T. Russell, Jehovah's Witness. Pentecostal, Charles Parman. Islam was even created by a white man. That other white man was talking about Islam. That was created by a white dude. All right, right. Okay? Rasta, my family's come from the West Indies. My brother used to talk about John Rastafari. That's bullshit. Right. right. Okay. Holly Selassie have nothing to do with no with, with no Rasta shit. Right. But we've been listening to lies. That's why he said in Isaiah chapter 38 that black people are liars. We believe all this bullshit. So what we are here to do is tell you, you great. You better than just a black person. Right. right. You better than just a minority. Right. All right. Nation. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 